Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video I'm going to show you the best monitor that you can buy under 15,000 rupees in India. So recently my CRT monitor got damaged so I had to purchase a new monitor and this is the one that I had my eyes laying around for a very very long time now. Now this is not a fairly not a very new monitor this has been in the market for a very long time now and this particular mo monitor is also not new I bought this monitor about six or seven months ago but I never got to use it because my CRT monitor was still working. Uh, so today I took the box out and finally connected the monitor and this is the how the monitor looks Now if you go on the LG official website, you can see that this monitor is listed on their website And this is the monitor that I'm talking about. This is the LG 24 MP uh, 88 HV now the V stands for the VESA mount but the monitor that I have that I have does not come with a VESA mount so once you open the link you can see that this is the uh, picture of the monitor as you can see this is a 24 inch monitor and it looks really really good uh, because this is a IPS uh, IPS uh, panel the viewing angles are really great on this monitor this is some of the pictures on the website and this is how the uh, monitor looks from the uh, side profile so let me just click on the picture and hopefully it will load so this is how the monitor look from the side profile so basically it comes with the monitor, the monitor is very slim, this is your stand, uh, the stand is made of metal and is uh, the finish on the stand is your brushed aluminium, this is your small clip through which you will route all your uh, cables, the only thing that is missing in this monitor is I think a lack of DVI port or mini display port, uh, uh, sorry the display port, so it comes with uh, your uh, audio in your headphone out, your VGA input, your HDMI 1, your HDMI 2 and it does it does lack uh, input for the your uh, DVI input so that's uh, one of the thing that this monitor is lacking again the stand is built with metal uh, brushed aluminium finishing and at the back you can see the screws the screw hole for the VESA mount the one that I have this particular one the monitor that I have uh, does not support VESA mount because this was a little cheaper so I and I don't have a VESA stand in my house so I bought the one without the VESA mount uh, in the market uh, they had the one with the VESA mount but it was a little expensive and also uh, they did not have it in white color and I wanted the monitor to be in white color so I bought the white colored version so this is uh, some of the picture of the monitor on their website this is another back profile again you can see the some of the ports that you get, uh, get with it so headphones port your audio port audio in uh, your VGA port your HDMI 1, HDMI 2 and then I get your Kensing, uh, Kensington lock so if you go on Amazon you can see that uh, this is the monitor and as you can see the price of this monitor is currently 14,599 on sale you can sometimes get this for a little less somewhere close to 14,300 or 14,200 rupees I'm very sure if you go in your local market you can get this for about 14,000 rupees exactly and if you open the link you can see that this is the uh, monitor again it also has uh, uh, two speakers at the bottom if let me just show you I don't know if you can see the grill so this is the one monitor and there's your another monitor and at the bottom you can also see that there is a small joystick button so if you press it once you can see that it comes up to remove it all you have to do is press it again and it will go back again so this is the control you press the uh, button once and the control comes up so let's take a look at some of the controls so you can use the joystick uh, to move left and right so if I go left you can see it will select the menu and then the menu shows up and in the menu you can see there are a couple of options that I can change so in the options quick setting I can change the brightness contrast and the spe volume speaker it also comes with a smart saving uh, uh, option so if your monitor uh, changes the brightness automatically uh, let me just open it again if your monitor is changing brightness automatically then all you have to do is go to this option and then turn this option off in my case I don't really bother because I like it when the monitor goes to uh, low power or low brightness automatically the second option is picture mode you here you can adjust the picture uh, the picture mode uh, the display and the adjust a different setting and again in this 
you have the sound you can change the uh, speaker setting some of the speaker setting because this monitor has two speakers here are your general settings you, take it, you can decide whether the joystick with which I am controlling the monitor currently uh, lights up or not so you can decide that and here is your auto configuration so when you click it uh, the monitor will uh, select the resolution automatically and then again you can if you want to reset everything you can reset everything in, inside your monitor currently I have connected the monitor with, with the VGA port and one thing about bigger monitor is that let me show you so this is the uh, back of the monitor and as you can see that I'm using the VGA port uh, this monitor also doesn't come with the HDMI cable it only comes with a VGA cable and some people when using bigger monitor especially with LG complaints about that moni their monitor is not detected by the uh, computer so what they need to do is they need to buy a really good quality cables if you're using a bad quality cable uh, bad quality VGA cable your monitor will not be detected by your PC and you will get very wrong resolution even if you install the on-screen software for the LG it will not work uh, some people try installing different drivers, updating drivers, but that doesn't work. So you will have to install a proper good quality cable, a VGA cable if you're using VGA. And if you're using HDMI, HDMI then uh, I think people don't find uh, much problem when using the HDMI. So again, let's go <laughs> at the port again. So you get the HDMI one. If the camera zoom focuses. So that's your HDMI 1 input, HDMI 2, that's your VGA connection and then you have your power supply, this is your audio headphones out and your audio input. So this is how the monitor look. The stand is built with uh, aluminium, this is brushed aluminium finish and this cap comes off, uh, this is uh, adjustable. I mean this the monitor is not adjustable it can only tilt forward and backward and this is how the monitor looks from the side now the one good thing about the IPS monitor is the viewing angle so let's say let me open something up this is a YouTube and I was looking at some bird documentary so you can look at the picture quality let me just turn it on so you can see that picture is moving and if I go at an angle you can still see the colors without any problem now the problem is that I have a window right in front of the monitor and if this monitor was reflective uh, there would be a lot of problem watching the video in this case the monitor has the matte finish so uh, it doesn't cause much reflection uh, and that's a good thing about these types of monitor that comes with the matte finish so let me go opposite to the window and hopefully you can see that even at a very steep angle I can still see what's going on in the monitor if it was a VN panel or a TN sorry a VA panel or a TN panel uh, it would be a little difficult to watch at such a steep angle so this monitor is also called your borderless uh, monitor because uh, as you can see the seam the border is very very small all the way and this is the 24 inch monitor and my room is about uh, 24 feet by 24 feet uh, like a square room so for us for such a small room I think uh, this size monitor is uh, very good enough okay now let's talk about the speaker that this uh, monitor comes with now the speakers are not very very powerful I think I usually don't use them at all but I think that is not going to be a big problem uh, the good thing is that it does come with a small uh, with mo uh, some speakers so if in case you need them they are there in the monitor uh, the other good thing about this monitor is that it also LG also has their software which is the uh, LG on screen display so if you could go on the desktop you can see that let me show uh, my um, desktop icons so this is the uh, icon that I'm talking about this is the LG on screen uh, software so if you open it open the on screen control you can see on the taskbar at the bottom you will see you will get this option if you click on this option right click on this option you will get a different control you can start the on-screen control by clicking this option and this will give you the various uh, settings that you can do with your monitor so you can pretty much split your screen 
uh, into different windows there are different monitor setting in which you can change the brightness and contrast you can change the orientation of your monitor in this case i'm using the landscape you can also change it to the portrait mode and there are some application preset that you can set for different uh, windows so maybe you like to use different settings for uh, adobe reader maybe you want to use different setting for adobe uh, media player you can do that in this setting there is another uh, setting for game mode which is the black stabilizer so when you are playing games sometimes it is difficult to uh, see the blacks the blacks are not very pro uh, uh, very easy to see and you can change how much black do you want in in your game or different uh, application that you are, that you are using so again i would like to say that some people when they are inst they install this software the lg on screen software their monitor does not get detected and the reason for that is they are not using they are probably using a vga cable that is not a very good quality cable in this case if you go to the uh, on screen control uh, right click on it you will see that the monitor is detected lg ips full hd monitor and if this was a cheap cable my monitor would not have been detected and i would pretty much would not be able to use the on screen control and the resolution would also be not so good so this is the resolution setting i'm not running at the recommended setting at this moment as you can see the maximum resolution it can push push is 1920 by 1080 which is the default recommended resolution currently i'm using at the 1600 by 900 uh, resolution which is very pleasing to my eyes and also the start menu icon in windows doesn't get very small so this is the perfect uh, resolution to my liking so let me just close that we go this was my video on the lg 2488 hv or hs monitor it uh, the model number varies differently depending upon whether your monitor has a VESA mount at the back or not. I really love this monitor. I think this is the best monitor that you can buy for your money under 15,000 rupees. You will not be disappointed. The picture quality is great. All the settings, all the features are really, really good. And the picture quality and the viewing angles be in, uh, because this is an IPS panel are really, really great. As you can see, we can easily see all the colors and all the details even when we're watching at an angle so there we go this was my video i hope you enjoyed or found this video helpful this was the lg2488 hv thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye